perspective is that, you know, these people can't do this or these people aren't capable of doing this. It's just a downward spiral. Essentially, we just kind of throw, throw people with disabilities out. Each year, over 8 million babies are born with a serious birth defect. Only 3.2 million of those children will live past five years of age and will be left with a disability. It's a young girl named Lauren. She went to camp, but it was hard for her. Like, she couldn't do all the things that normal campers could do. And Cindy asked her, if you could make a camp, what would it be? And Lauren said, I just want to be normal. Like, I wouldn't want people to look at me differently. In 1996, in Monette, Missouri, Camp Barnabas was founded. And ever since, it's been changing the lives of everyone who's entered its gates. It started out as a summer camp for kids and adults with disabilities. Um, basically an opportunity to allow kids with disabilities to have the same summer camp experience as their peers get to have at a typical summer camp. So we match up every one of our campers one-on-one -on -one with a volunteer. And so they spend that whole week serving that camper and learning what it looks like to put someone else's needs before their own. We have weeks where it, it ranges from kids in wheelchairs to kids with learning disabilities as well as chronic illnesses, burn victims, deaf, hard hearing. It just ranges from pretty much any disability that you can cover. I get to take care of some of the most amazing children in the world. And you know, they have more challenges in their life than we could ever imagine. And they're happy and they're joyful and they just have the best time here. These are kids that a lot of people kind of overlook or stare at and they don't know who they are. So just to get to know who they are and actually realize there's someone there. I have made really good friends with my own campers that I've taken care of. I've built a friendship off of eye contact and him smiling at me when I just talked to him. So there was a trust built and an interaction that was daily, but it was just for a week. As the week progresses, we really help with every aspect of daily living. So we help them shower, we help them go to the bathroom, we help them get dressed, but it really all depends on how independent your camper is. With my camper, I helped with every aspect of daily living. All the staff and CIA are really nice to me and they make me happy and they keep me safe. They are serving that camper at basically 24-7 for that whole week. And so in the beginning, it might be uncomfortable and scary and you don't know exactly how to serve them the best. But as you progress through the week and you build a friendship with them, I think it's just a never-ending friendship. I know a lot of volunteers go meet their camper outside of camp and continue that friendship on. And whether that camper can't talk or whatever that is, somehow that relationship is built that's closer than anything because you've spent that whole week just serving them and loving on them and caring for them. I don't know how I would make it without Camp Barnabas. I come back so much to see my friends and have a week where I can be normal just, just like everybody else. A lot of these kids, it's the only time out of their whole year that they get to be normal. They're not stared at, they're not pointed at. They just get to be a kid and they get to have fun no matter what their disability. We um, really focus on allowing people with disabilities to have the same opportunities as everyone else gets. We don't say no. We have a policy where we say yes you can, whether it's going down a huge slide into the water, or going up a ropes course, or, uh, whatever it is, we adapt it so that they can do that activity. And when they succeed in that, I think they take that home with them. The perspective is that, you know, these people can't do this. We say you can do this and we challenge you. Although Camp Barnabas's prime focus is serving special needs campers, the volunteers leave with a shift in perspective too. After they volunteer with us for a week, they take these experiences back home and see people with disabilities in a totally new light. 
as people that can be their friends, as people that can relate to them, as people that can, can do wonderful things. I would say if you come here, you can't ever not come back. It gets your heart. You just see these kids and you see the kids that come to volunteer. They're just as amazing as the campers. And they come and they just love each other. They take care of each other and it just grabs your heart. You'll never forget it and you'll always want to come back. After being there has really changed just every single aspect of my life and probably every single way possible. You leave the camp and you just realize that these kids live life like nothing is wrong with them and we go home and nitpick on every single little thing that's wrong with our life and every single thing that we can change and they have something that they can't change. It changed my outlook, my perspective, but also what I want to do with my life, like making a difference in other people's lives. The girls have made my daughter become a social butterfly. It's an awesome place for my daughter to be. It brings them out and it gives them a taste of what, what everyone else is doing out there. To get involved with Camp Barnabas, visit www.campbarnabas.org.